Hello, welcome to day 20 of Spoken, your 30-day yoga journey. Today's title is Love, and that comes from 1 John 4, 7 through 8. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. The word love is mentioned 551 times in the NIV Bible. So I had quite a challenge picking out the perfect verse for today's practice. God created us to love other people and to receive love. Science has proven that love is one of our basic and fundamental needs. Today we're going to focus on the heart chakra. We're going to open up our hearts. We're going to love ourselves and love others. So let's get started with a heart opening breath. So sit up nice and tall, hands come to your heart. And just follow your breath in and out of your body Preparing your mind for today's practice. Next time you inhale, move your hands out and to the sides. And on your exhale, bring it back. Good. You're going to inhale, push out and away. And exhale, bring it back to your heart. Good, keep going. Find the rhythm of your own breath. Let's do two more breaths here, focusing on your heart and your heart chakra. Last breath. Good. Go ahead and rest the palms of your hands on your knee. And next time you inhale, you're going to push open your chest forward. And if it's available to you, you can arch your back and look up a little. On your exhale, round your back and look down. So inhale, push your heart through. And exhale, round. Good. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, pushing your heart through. And exhale around. Good. Come to a neutral spine. And we're going to do an easy twist here. So left hand to right knee, right hand comes behind. Take a few breaths. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. twist to the other side so right hand comes to left knee left hand behind Take nice easy breaths here steady and smooth good and release let's inhale both arms up Interlace your fingers and turn your hands so the palms are facing the ceiling. Inhale, stretch and get tall. And then exhale, lean over to your right. Good. Inhale, and get tall. Exhale, lean to your left. Inhale, get tall. 
And exhale, release your hands down. Good. Now bring your right forearm to the mat. And let's start with your left hand on your left knee or thigh. And just come down as far as comfortable for you. And you're putting pressure in the right hand so your left hip bone doesn't, or your left sits bone doesn't come way off of the mat. So you can stay right here or you can inhale your left arm up and deepen that stretch over. Good, and release. Let's do the other side. So let's start with the right hand on the right knee. And just slowly come down on that left forearm. Listening to your body. And you can stay right here. Or you can lift up that right arm for a deeper stretch. You can push through that left hand to try and keep that right sits bone in the mat. Good, and release. Let's come lying down on our belly. And let's stay here for Sphinx Pose. And since we're focusing on opening up our heart chakra, I really want you to focus on pushing your chest through. So notice your posture here. Are you slumped in here with your shoulders? Or are you pushed out, pushing your heart through? Make sure your arms are parallel. My fingers are spread open wide. And I want you to relax your pelvis here and notice how you feel in your lower back. And now I want you to root down in your pelvis and see if you can lift up your heart more and notice the difference you feel. One more breath here. Good, go ahead and splay your elbows out to the side and just rest your head down. Take a few breaths here. All right, let's push back into child's pose. And today let's bring our knees close together and our arms come down by our sides, palms facing up. Good, slowly come up so you're sitting on your heels. And we're going to make our way down lying on our backs. So I just like to roll over my feet and then stretch them out long. I'll meet you down, lying down on your yoga mat. Go ahead and bend both knees. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees splay out to the sides. And bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. And just close your eyes and breathe, focusing on your heart chakra. Let's take two more breaths here. Good. 
Good. If you want to, you can use your hands to bring your knees back to center. Outstretch both legs. And then inhale your arms up towards the ceiling and over your head. Big body, full stretch. And then on your exhale, just release and relax all your muscles. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, stretch all the way through your body. And exhale, just release and relax. Good. Bring your arms back down. Bend both knees so your feet are flat on the mat. And walk your feet as close to your bottom as you can. Hands are down by your sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the palms down on the mat. We're going to do a supine cat cow and we're tilting our pelvis. So on our inhale, we're going to tilt our pelvis forward, arching our back. In essence, this is a cow position. On the exhale, we're going to reverse that. You're going to push your spine into the mat. You're rounding your back. Tailbone comes up. Then on your inhale, push through your feet. Come up to bridge pose. Then exhale, lower back down, nice and slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's try that again. So inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, push through. Bridge pose. And then exhale, slowly lower. Good, let's do that one more time. We're gonna hold the bridge pose. So inhale, arch your back, tailbone into the mat. Exhale, round your back, tailbone comes up. Inhale, push through your feet, bridge pose. Option stay right here or interlace your fingers underneath your back. Roll up, um, Roll your shoulder blades together so you can push up to a higher bridge. If you have the bind, release and slowly lower back down. Good. Bring both knees to chest for a counter stretch here. You can stay still or you can gently rock side to side. One more breath here. Good. Cross your ankles, kick up for some momentum, and we're going to rock up to sitting. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a pranayama with you, which has a mudra. So that means we're going to focus on our breathing, and we're going to hold our hands in a certain way. This mudra and breathing exercise is to heal a broken heart. So if you're feeling any heartache from a loss or a relationship, this mudra will help heal that. So bring your hands to a prayer position. And we're going to raise our hands up so that your middle finger is in line with your third eye, which is between your eyebrows. So this is the level. And then your elbows come out horizontally. So make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes. We're going to take long, slow, fluid breaths through our nose and out through our nose. We're going to hold it for three minutes. So if you need to take a break, please do so. So here we go. Nice, slow, deep breaths in and out.
go ahead and relax your hands on your lap. Just breathe normal. I have written a meditation I would like to read to you. I encourage you to lay down in Shavasana for this, or you can sit in a cross-legged position. So I'll give you a moment to lie down or find a comfortable seat for your meditation. Close your eyes and follow your breath in and out of your body. Notice how the breath feels cool as it enters your body and feels warm as it exits. Let your body relax and sink into your mat. Now bring your attention to your heart chakra at the center of your chest. Envision a spinning ball of warm light and energy at the center of your heart, filled with love, peace, and contentment. Allow this light to slowly grow until it encompasses your entire body. Imagine a door in the room you are in and you walk over to the door and open it. Walking through the doorway, you step outside into a beautiful wilderness filled with luscious greenery, beautiful wild animals, waterfalls, and the sun is shining. You feel so peaceful here and one with nature. Take a moment to look around. You start walking towards a small pond and have a seat on a tree stump. As you are relaxing, you start experiencing a love like you have never felt before. You realize that Jesus is in your presence in this beautiful place. You smile and greet him with amazement and delight. As Jesus sits down next to you, you take this opportunity to talk to him about love. Discuss openly with him your thanksgivings, blessings, hurts, and desires. Bring up people and situations that you need peace and forgiveness with. This time is soon coming to an end. Make sure you have told Jesus everything in your heart today. Visualize yourself telling Jesus goodbye, perhaps with a hug or whatever feels natural for you. As you get up and start walking back to the door, you feel peace, happiness, and a calmness that you have never felt before. So 
Slowly bring your attention back to your body and to the surroundings in your room. Start wiggling your toes and fingers. And if you are lying down, turn to one side and rest. In your own time, come back up to sitting cross-legged facing me. I hope that you have enjoyed this journey today, exploring your heart chakra. And as a reminder, 1 John 4, 7 through 8 says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Let's inhale our arms up and exhale to our hearts. Namaste.